Okay, we have to enhance our full client a little bit. So, let's open the XAML file. The automatically generated columns are not very beautiful. So, let's just add some specific text columns here. So, we'll say, hey, this is the data grid, and we have the data grid dot columns here columns and we have a data grid text column which has a binding onto competitor binding uh, path equals to last name fine with this one no nope, let's give it a header um, last name then we do a nation, nation, and finally we have a total time. This one's important. Total time. We don't need the auto generate columns anymore. Just quickly test this one if it works. If I didn't spell any property wrongly or something like this. Just make sure. Select race here. And nope, last name, I spelled this one wrong. So I assume that we have a last name with a small written N here. Try it again. Race our form. Here's our race. Yeah, this one looks fine. So, what I want to do now is I want to add another area in our, um, in our form here. So, we'll add here to the grid a column definition. And we say we have a column definition with star and a column definition with let's say two and three star yeah the, the combo box has a, a grid dot column span two yep this one yep this one is right and on the right hand side I want to add um, a kind of form where the user can edit the currently selected competitor so we need a uh, a nested grid here grid row equals one and grid column equals one and in this grid we have let's let me quickly copy that for you here just to reduce the number of lines that I have to write we we'll have let's say the last name the nation, the total time, and something like this. And we have two columns. The first one is auto, the second one is complete. And let's do the following. Let's say uh, we have a text block, which is text equals to last name, add a text box with uh, text equals to binding. So, where could we bind? We need the currently selected competitor. Where do we get the currently selected competitor? Well, the currently selected competitor is inside the data grid, but we, I don't want to bind to the data grid here. I want to bind again to the view model, so we have to do something that we already did in the past. We have not only to have a current event, we also need to have a currently selected competitor, a current competitor. We need to have a current competitor. So, what we can do now is we can here in the data grid say, hey, selected item equals to binding um, path current competitor so now we can do the following we can say binding current uh, sorry path equals to current comp 
competitor competitor dot last name and that's it nearly grid dot column equals to one and now let's copy this one and we have a nation this is grid dot row equals one and we have a nation here we have a grid dot row equals one and finally we have a total time total time and this one is greater row 2 fine nice the only thing that I forgot is again mode equals to way in WPF you do not really need this one but as we'll use it in Silverlight in a few moments uh, here we have row 2, no sorry, row 1 and here we have row 2 in Silverlight, we, it, it's very crucial that you add this mode property because otherwise your data binding will not work. Let's try this one. Fire up our application. Run the debugger. I guess this form is the proof that WPF also allows to create not very beautiful applications, but bear with me it doesn't work why doesn't it work because come on Visual Studio hurry up the current competitor property is set whenever the data grid selected item changes but the important thing you must not forget that the current competitor property whenever the, it is changed the user interface is not notified if you program like that it is very important in such situation that you use the i property i notify property changed interface and therefore again we cannot use the auto automatically implemented property here we have to manually add private competitor current competitor add this one add our getter add our setter here we have the getter We have the setter. Getter is simple. Turn this dot current competitor and setter this dot current competitor equals value and this dot on property changed current competitor. Nice. And now you will see that everything everything works smoothly. Hopefully. Here's our form. Let's enlarge it a little bit. Select the race. Select the the competitor. And as you can see, data binding works nicely. Why does it work? the selected item property from the data grid changes it changes it is bound to the current competitor property in our view model the current competitor property in the view model notifies the view that it has changed and therefore the view knows that it has to update this text boxes here that's the important point